Hello everyone. Um, after so many requests uh, about uh, on how I process my wool and how I dress my this stuff, I'm finally I finally found a friend that is willing to film me. So um, to dress the this stuff, what I need is a bat. Uh, to make a bat, usually uh, people use a drum cutter, which I don't have yet, I'm planning to get one, but I can't get one at the moment. Uh, so I had to find a way to achieving a bat just with my hand cutters. Uh, so what I do, uh, I card wool just as if I was making a rollag, but instead of rolling each bit of wool on itself to create a mini rollag, I place uh, each layer uh, on top of each other. I mean, it's a bit difficult to explain with words. I think I'm just going to show you. Here I've got some Sopravvisana wool, which is an ancient uh, Italian breed, which in the late 1400s, I think, was, um, was bred with a... Um, with Spanish uh, Merino and uh, so it's a nice uh, it's a very nice wool um, I got it given by a friend it's actually from a farm where they uh, machine spin it so it comes I've got some there it's in its raw form and some there it's already been sort of made into a very thin so uh, what I do, I take some of the wool and I place it as usual on my cutter. These mini tops are a bit nerve wracking because you get very little wool every time you pull. But at least this bit is clean, while the bit there is not processed at all, it's full of vegetable matter. So I'm just going to show you with the clean bit, otherwise we will be here forever. I've got a bit of... Sorry, I need my tweezers because I've got a bit of vegetable matter here. And I hate vegetable matter. I'm, uh, I like my yarn to be quite even. So I try to process the wool as well as possible. Also, because when I'm using my this stuff, I can only draft with the main. I can mainly draft with the left hand. So the the wool has got to come smoothly. So I've got my wool there, and I start to card it. So there's nothing new. These. I'm sure most of you are familiar with this process. So the video is mostly on how to dress the this stuff, but I just thought it was interesting to show you how what I developed, the technique I developed to make a bath. Maybe I'll do another little bit. And then what I do, I take this off and I put it over the bat. I mean, I've, I'm already halfway through this bat, which I started yesterday night, because to show you the whole thing would just take too long. It takes me at least two or three hours to make a bat, unfortunately. And I make sure that I sort of comb it with my finger to make it grab the rest of the wool. So what I do with each one of these layers, I place them slightly overlapping. And then when I do the second 
layer or the third I place uh, the next layer over the join of the two pieces so that I stagger them with each layer and I get a, uh, a bat that is quite uh, compact.